Hey guys, salut mes amis, ok, hallo gubar, Maxim here. Kinsey, a guy known for his go for the kill battle royale mode in CSGO and who also helped me with my website, has created a very interesting experiment and I'm going to talk a bit about it. Before I go into this video, I want to quickly remind everybody about the Now Drinks offer. With the code Banana Gaming, you get 10% off. Go check it out in the link below. So back to the video. Are you able to see or feel the difference between 64 or 128 tick? Your first initial response to that question is most likely yes, duh. If you wanted to be 100% sure, you could just check your net graph. But what if the net graph is disabled? Would it still be easy to know? Hmm, I've been thinking about it. But if I wanted to answer that question with 100% certainty, I would have to use a jump throw script. As you all know, jump throws behave differently on 64 and 128 tick. I even have a video on it explaining why. I'll post it in the end of the video if you want to see it. But what if we don't have grenades or net graph? Would you still be able to know the difference? Kinsey has released some servers to test your skills. No, not your raw skills as a player, your skills of knowing or determining if the server is 64 or 128. I'll put the link in the description so you can try it out. I really like this experiment because it might prove that many of us don't even know what we're talking about, especially those moments when we think that 128 tick is better simply because we think it's better. It might even make you revalue tick rates. Anyway, I did take part of the experiment and honestly, I was pretty sure I knew the tick rate. But because I know Kinsey, he was able to provide me with the results that I sent in. And apparently I got three out of three wrong. <laughs> and he hits me with the smiley. Just from those results, I can say how hard it is to tell the difference. So it really shouldn't be the most important factor for a good experience on a server. I honestly think that the server's performance should be top priority, not its tick rate. And this might be the main reason why people complain about 64 tick on matchmaking servers. Just think about it, really. If you are from Europe, I really think you should participate in this experiment. It proves a good point, plus it's really easy to do. Just copy one of the servers, paste it into the console, finish the game and vote. Simple as that. Arguably one of the main reasons why you would want to play on 128 is for the jump throws. If matchmaking is supposed to be a replica of the competitive scene that pros are playing on right now, then jump throws should be exactly the same on 64. But sadly, they aren't. But if you want to play on some 128 tick servers with anti-cheat, I'm going to end this video with a super cool, totally not sellout announcement. ECL, the European Community League, now has a Legends division, where the top 20 players for every month will be invited to FPLC qualifiers. This means that ECL finally offers a path to the pro scene. Exciting times. To be part of the Legends division, you have to have an ELO of 2800 on Faceit, and then you can click this fancy button. If you drop below 2600 ELO, you will get kicked automatically and will have to grind your way back from Division 1. The Legends Division also comes with live support every day with mandatory Discord and it's obviously solo queue all the way. If you have enough ELO to be part of the Legends Division or if you just want to enjoy some quality games in the other divisions with the chance to play with some sexy content creators, you can use my code for 20% off when you subscribe to ECL. Please hit like to show your support, put a bell on the sub if you want more, and I'll see you guys soon. Stay awesome and go bananas.